James Webb Telescope detected shocking artificial lights on Proxima B. Strange things have been happening in the solar system close to ours. Proxima Centauri is only four light years away, and scientists have discovered to pick up unusual signals from one of the system's planets, Proxima B. The unusual bodies perceived as artificial lights have consistently kept the brightest minds in space community on their toes. But what are they? Could this be an indication of the existence of life on the planet? With the discovery of artificial lights on Proxima B, life's thriving and sustenance would be at least possible. Stay tuned as all your questions will be answered in this video. The purpose of the James Webb Space Telescope remains unique as it was created to explore habitable exoplanets where we could one day search for evidence of life beyond our planet. However, its habitability remains a complex case to crack, and finding another Earth-like planet is even more difficult than you imagine. After several searches for a successor to the Hubble, NASA and its partners finally launched their major space telescope no sooner than later. Primarily an infrared telescope, the James Webb Telescope boasts a wider spectrum view than the Hubble and operates at a longer distance range from the Earth in a solar rather than an Earth orbit. The James Webb Telescope, along with most of its instruments, possesses an operating temperature of roughly 40 Kelvin and, after its 2021 launch, became the world's largest and most powerful telescope with the capacity to look back 200 million years after the Big Bang. The telescope is designed to last for as long as five years. However, NASA hopes it will be in operation for over a decade. The telescope was launched on a European workhorse Ariane 5 rocket at the end of October 2021, while its first observation occurred in 2022. Proxima Centauri comes to mind when talking about the star closest to our solar system. Not only is this star four light years away, but it is also the home to no less than eight Earth-like planets. The star is a promising target for future space-oriented extraterrestrial life searches. The Proxima Centauri, which appears to be a red dwarf star, remains one of the brightest stars in the midnight sky hence its importance as a benchmark for studying stellar properties. Nevertheless, several obstacles have been encountered in studying this star due to its relative faintness and location beyond the sequence of the stars in the Orion arm of the Milky Way galaxy. Fresh results observed by the James Webb Telescope prove that natural sources like dust, clouds, carbon dioxide emissions from the ice, and hydrogen atoms from its nitrogen oxides artificially filter light from stars that share proximity to Earth. This revelation offers a new perspective into how terrestrial civilizations may harness the power of artificial lighting techniques to increase the visibility of their world or even hide locations they do not want others to see. Classified as a GOV, the Proxima B is also known with the Bayer designation of Alpha Centauri, with an extra name of Horologium, which Johann Bayer proposed in 1603 due to its rise at noon being the time several prominent celestial bodies ascend, such as the Sun and the Moon. Sometimes it is referred to as Alpha Centauri A or Alpha Centauri. A study of Alpha Centauri revealed that it is a single star system consisting of four main stars in the same line as Proxima Centauri, which is in the middle. The system also possesses two faint red dwarfs, Alpha Centauri A, also called Rigel Centaurus, its traditional name, and Alpha Centauri B. They make up the bulk of mass but cannot be seen individually with the naked eye as they are too faint. The detection of artificial light on the red dwarf Proxima Centauri came from using the high-resolution capabilities of the James Webb Telescope. The emission detection came around the time of the new moon, when the host star did not greatly obstruct the eco-solar system shedding the Proxima B. Following observations, the emission came from PCO2, which often results from the carbon dioxide ice present in the eco-solar system. The observation also proved that the exosolar system surrounding Proxima Centauri is not too hot as the emission wavelength varied between 1.6 and 2.5 micrometers. 
where the emitted heat from the system is expected to be at its peak. This also shows that the exosolar system surrounding Proxima Centauri is not completely dark but contains water and carbon dioxide. While it is a high probability that Proxima b is the home planet to several extraterrestrial life as it orbits around the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, which may be the perfect target for life-supporting ecosystems. However, recent findings made by researchers using the high-resolution capabilities of the James Webb Telescope revealed that the exosolar system of Proxima Centauri's is not habitable enough to support life. In a presentation at the National Astronomy Meeting held on July 11th, Evelyn McDonald, a graduate student from the University of Toronto, Canada, shared discoveries made from recent research on exoplanets. The model used for the research was the nearby Earth-sized exoplanet Proxima Centauri b. This exoplanet is tidally locked, which implies that one side of the planet consistently faces the star and the other faces outer space. While finding such a situation on our solar planet is impossible, it remains quite unusual in exoplanets. Tidal locking of planets can have an immense effect on the habitability of the planet as astronomers believe one side of the planet would end up being hotter than the other. However, this could be averted by an atmosphere with winds that spread the heat around the planet, making it more hospitable to life. The side of the planet facing the star is called the day side, as it is in constant daytime while the other is called the night side. The McDonald Group studied how the amount of land on a planet's day side affected its climate and compared it with a situation in which land was in a circular continent in the middle of a liquid ocean to another with a circle of land with ice at its center. The amount of land on the planets was fully varied, keeping it perpetually in these configurations, making the circle of land larger or smaller. To underestimate the climate effect of this, McDonald pointed out in her presentation. In situations where the planet had more land, the model showed the presence of a higher temperature, less rain, and a wide temperature difference between day and night. When the planet had more ocean, it indicated more rain and clouds. Sometimes the water in the ocean might be frozen to ice, so the amount of liquid ocean plays a huge role in determining the amount of water in the climate and the planet's temperature. Even in instances where the total amount of land remained unchanged, the researchers discovered that the average surface temperature of a tidally locked planet could vary by a whopping 20 degrees Celsius, depending on the distribution of that land. The climate difference is pretty substantial, said McDonald, just caused by how much land there is as well as its location. Even with all the discoveries made, the main challenge comes with applying this theoretical research to real data on explanations, as it is difficult to deduce how much of the planet is land versus the part which is ocean, merely by viewing the spectra like those James Webb will take. The effect of land diversity on tidally locked planets' climates cannot be overemphasized. However, this effect is difficult to detect on actual planets and depends on numerous factors, said McDonald. To fully bring to our understanding the habitability of such a planet, factors ranging from surface pressure, its cloud amount of radiation received from stars along with the amount of distribution of lands has to be fully considered. The upshot is that James Webb will begin investigating Proxima b during its first year of science and getting more data on these exoplanets would be truly exciting. However, don't start planning to move to Earth 2 yet, as determining the habitability of the Proxima b, billions of miles away, won't be a walk in the park. Scientists suspect that two other planets revolving around the red dwarf star may be mostly covered by water, according to recent studies. However, before moving to picture a Kevin Costner in the afterworld scenario or even the icy moon of Jupiter and Saturn, take a deep breath, as these two exoplanets are much stranger than that. While detecting artificial light by the James Webb Telescope on the Proxima b may be the deal-breaker we've all been waiting for, we still cannot ascertain the habitability of the exoplanets. This means that if you're one of those individuals in a hurry to inhabit Earth 2, your best option is to patiently wait for more progress to be made on Proxima b. If you've reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so that you don't miss any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care, and do tell us your views in the comment section.